I'm with Marios Skandalis, Bank of Cyprus Compliance Director, and we're discussing the bank's compliance transformation since 2013. One of the key aspects of this was stepping up to aggressively tackle money laundering. Tell me more. Yes, indeed. Our bank has aggressively engaged in a cleanup campaign under the most stringent ethical uh, rules. During the past three years, our bank has had to terminate 30% of its international clientele. More than 5,000 accounts were shut down, corresponding to more than 10 million of annual net profitability. We have also terminated 80% of our relationships with our professional intermediaries from 1,600. We're only left with 300 such relationships at the moment. Although hard path to follow and harsh measures to apply, our bank has won best corporate governance institution by World Finance for two consecutive years. Our bank has also won the 2016 award by Transparency International for adopting the best anti-corruption and transparency measures. It has also won the award of Bank of the Year for 2017 by Corporate Insider. And our bank is today the only financial institution in Cyprus that for two consecutive years were members of the Business Integrity Forum of Transparency International. It seems quite rare for a bank to be so honest and transparent about the efforts that it's taking to tackle financial crime. This exactly, Paul. We're not ashamed and we're not feared to say that we've shut down relationships. We're not afraid to tell our investors that we have foregone 10 millions of profitability because we consider this foregone profitability to be an investment for future higher return and more robust return. And what does the future hold for Bank of Cyprus? Our prime objective is our commitment to this new culture, to this new path that we've successfully applied over the last four years. But at the same time, we would like to offer more to our customers, to our most important external stakeholders, by uh, improving and enhancing our services to them. Our bank has recently collaborated with IBM in a multi-million project leading to a full digitization of our bank over the next five years. This enhancement of our customer service and product excellence set our bank as the undisputed leader in the Southeast and European region. With this digitization process, basically, we are trying not only to apply completely paperless relationship with our customers, but offer the ease to our customers to perform their banking affairs, either from their home or from their mobile device or by visiting a branch in the most appropriate way to them. At the moment, there are no other institutions that have taken such an aggressive strategic decision to fully digitize their operations. But we consider that unless institutions take this step forward, there is no future for those institutions in the short to medium term. What does this kind of process present in terms of challenges for your compliance function? The challenges are quite high because fully digitizing a financial institution obviously creates new means of doing business and opening new gateways for customers to engage with our institution. Therefore, what we need to be is to be vigilant, to participate, review every possible new gateway that we open to our customers and every new possible service that we are offering to them and make sure that the principles of compliance apply there as well. Compliance is not a business preventing mechanism to an institution. On the contrary, it's a business facilitator to ensure our stakeholders receive a robust return and they don't just receive any return which would take them into a very risky path and losing everything at the end of the day. Marius, thank you very much. Thank you too. Thanks for watching. If you started here, click through to watch the first half of our interview with Mario Scandalis. You can learn even more at bankofcyprus.com and please subscribe for the latest video news and insights from worldfinance.com.